Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Fight.Live's broadcast of the Friday Night Fights co-main and main event live from Midtown Manhattan here in New York City on Facebook. Tonight's bouts are brought to you by Lucky Strike, Mohegan Sun, Budweiser, the Super Rare Shop, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, the Muay Thai Authority, and Diamante's Brooklyn Cigar Lounge. All of tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the World Kickboxing Association. For the first of tonight's two broadcasted matches, we present an international cruiserweight bout. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds for the WKA Men's Amateur Northeastern Regional Full Rules Muay Thai Championship. Your referee for this contest is Chris Wagner. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He wears black with red trim. He weighed in at 187 and one half pounds. His record, a perfect one. 12 fights, 12 victories. Representing Alex Wilkie Martial Arts, fighting out of Johannesburg, South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, Quinton, the Lion Slayer, Russo. Russo. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the blue with green trim. He weighed in at a ready 189 and one half pounds. His record, seven victories against only one defeat. He represents Westchester Fight Club, fighting out of Tuckahoe, New York. He is the reigning, defending WKA Men's Amateur Northeastern Regional Full Rules Muay Thai Champion, Mike the Machine. Chirico. Chirico. Our gentleman with eight instructions in his next one on the next blue fight of the American Man's of all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain that's how I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch gloves. Welcome once again, everybody, to our first ever live broadcast on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. We come to you via Fights.Live on Facebook, and a title bout in the amateur ranks about to, convince, about to commence. We will bring you our main event shortly, but right here, two heavy-hitting amateurs going at it. Quinton Rousseau taking on hard-hitting Mike Chirico. Chirico is looking all right away to you know, attack Quinton's legs. You can see him just trying to stop his movements by attacking both front legs. You see Quinton with a very kickboxing style. You know, he's light on his feet. He keeps changing his guards. Sirico, just a powerful guy. He chops down with a leg kick. It looked like a low blow causing Tariko to back off for just a moment here. Tariko with the dark blue trunks with the neon green trim. Quinton Rousseau in the black and red, fighting out of Johannesburg, South Africa. Chirico defending his full rules amateur Northeastern Regional title at 189 pounds here on Friday Night Fights. Yeah, this is Chirico's first time defending the title. Last time out, Chirico beat Norberto the Dragon Seguino at the Broad Street Ballroom as a vicious lower leg kick has landed by the champion, Chirico. Stop Quinton's movements with that kickboxing style. He told me he didn't think that Quinton was going to be used to the, the tie style and using a lot of the leg kicks and elbows. Rousseau come, has come a long way for this fight from South Africa originally. He's been training here for several months. I'm looking to take some hardware home with him as he tries the spinning back heel kick. Yeah, he's a, Taking a try in MMA as well. His last fight was an MMA fight, which he lost. He wants to pick up that momentum again by winning, and especially winning here in the U.S. So they scheduled five-rounder, two-minute rounds. Full rules in play here. Quinton keeps his hands pretty low, too. You can see uh, you know, he's, he's keeping his hands low, but it's not affecting Tariko because Tariko just continues to attack the legs. Good team from Tariko as well. Yeah, intercepts Quinton as he's moving in. Tough environment for Quinton Rousseau. Not only fighting against a champion, but also a champion fighting in his own backyard. 
as the bell sounds. That's the end of round number one. Let's recap for you, everybody. Ariel Lagami with Phoenix Carnivale ringside at a jam-packed Lucky Strike Manhattan on the west side of New York City. Great environment to be at, and very glad we could bring this fight to you over the internet via Fights.Live on Facebook. Yeah, this is a great night. You know, we're just kind of feeling celebratory here in New York City because the weather has finally gotten nicer. Everybody's in good spirits. Uh, we're happy to root on all of our people from our hometown, and we also, you know, welcome visitors. Like, okay, Quentin is from South Africa, but we're looking forward to a good fight nonetheless. Quentin comes in at 12-0. As an amateur Muay Thai fighter, has the nickname the Lion Slayer. And he will have to live up to that billing tonight as he has the favorite son, Mike Chirico, across the ring from him. And there's Big Mike right there, the title holder. Amateur Northeastern Regional Full Rules belt on the line at 189 pounds. And still ahead, Elijah Clark against Brad Machine Gun Mountain. Here's round two of Chirico and Rousseau. This is an amateur full rules Muay Thai fight. Our main event will be a professional glory rules bout. Oh, there he goes chopping across that leg kick again. So he waits until he sits down on it, and then he's just trying to respond. We've seen Trico win here at Friday Night Fights with leg kicks before. Rousseau a little bit staggered here. He's going to get a standing eight count from Chris McCann and Wagner, rightfully so. Some swelling above the right eye of Rousseau and Trico. I've never seen him do this much leg work early in a fight. He is all over Rousseau. Well, Rousseau, you know, he's trying to take his time. He's leading his body in, but he's putting a lot of weight on both legs. You can see him kind of sit into his legs and then try to throw a heavy kick. And, and what Mike does well is he tries to time it. He, try, he times him exact right after he, he pops back a punch or right after he goes for something so that he's, his weight is set on both feet. Vicious lower leg kick actually opens up a cut on the inside of Rousseau's right leg. My goodness. Chirico dominating so far. Goes to the inside of the other leg, the left leg of Rousseau. Yeah, as he's attacking the leg from the, both the front and the side, it really, t it ma really makes it hard to put weight on that front leg. Stiff left lands for Chirico. Rousseau got it a shot as well. Yeah, he, Rousseau has not checked out one of those kicks. Nice uppercut lands there in that exchange. And I think Chirico may have some blood coming out of his nose. Yeah, Chirico's nose is just spilling blood right now. Final 10 seconds of this round. Short elbow lands by Quinton in that exchange. And we are in for some kind of battle here. Two rounds in, and these fighters look like they've been 10. My paperwork has blood on it. That's, oh, that's definitely blood. That's very nice. How about that? <laughs> this is why I don't wear white in fights. Fighters wow. also try to hug me after they win, and I'm like, you guys are gross, man. Well, Phoenix Carnivale, <laughs> ever popular in the fight community, a renowned MMA personality, and we are very glad to have for a long on the broadcast, as always, on Friday Night Fights, our first ever live endeavor coming to you from the appropriately named Fights.Live via Facebook. And my name is Ariel Lagami. We come to you from the outstanding venue, Mohi uh, the Lucky Strike Manhattan on the west side of New York City. Yeah, and if you guys are enjoying this, press the likes. We want to see the likes and the little hearts flying all over the screen that you're enjoying the show that you are rooting on our fighters here. Press it. Press the likes. Chirico right now with that laser-like focus as we go into this round. You can see him just kind of staring down Quinton. Hits right away with the leg kick and then adds the hook. We're scheduled for five. This is only round three. Rousseau gaining a little bit of momentum here, but Chirico trying to stifle that quickly. Quinton's corner is yelling for him to box, to outbox Chirico. Rico now tying him up in the clinch, staying in the corner, throwing really nice knees to the midsection and following with that leg kick. We're so staggered a little bit here. Tarico out of Vision Quest Muay Thai, a division of the Westchester Fight Club, trained by Primo Bellarosa. Quinton Rousseau from Johannesburg, South Africa, 
as Brian Mayer and Paul Holder in his corner. Rousseau representing Alex Wilkie's martial arts in New Jersey. Another inside leg kick from Tarico. Blood continuing to pour out of the nose of the champion, Chirico. Chirico doing a good job not letting Quinton respond. So he attacks the leg and moves slightly out of distance. And that'll be a solid inside leg kick landed for Chirico. Chris Cannon says fight on. Straight left for Chirico. Another one. Yeah, it looks like Quinton's taken some of those straight lefts in his life. You, you can see that his nose been, has been broken probably a few times before. Yeah, it was like that coming in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. And Tarico sends Rousseau to the canvas. Gets a standing eight. Chris Cannon Wagner on top of the action here. Rousseau says he's okay to continue. Thankfully, round three comes to an end. He'll get a little bit of a breather. Uh, you can see he's just body collapse inside itself. And as you would expect, Phoenix, this fight, an absolute slugfest, just like we hoped it would be, and it's shaping up just that way. Yeah, the doctor is coming in to take a look at Quentin right now, making Oops. sure that he's not too dazed, that he knows what's happening. Once again, you are watching Friday Night Fights on Fights.Live. We come to you from Lucky Strike Manhattan on the west side of New York City, our first ever live broadcast on the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. Very excited to have you along with us, folks. We are glad you could take part in this tremendous action from New York City. Mike Chirico defending his 189 pound amateur Northeast Regional full rules title against Quinton the Lion Slayer Rousseau, who was undefeated in Muay Thai action, 12 and 0 coming in as an amateur but still getting checked out by Dr. Rufus Sadler right now. Well, he considered himself much more of a kickboxer. I, I don't think that leg kicks are something that he's generally used to. We're not sure if he's going to return or if they're going to stop the fight. You can see, yep, and it's over. And that is it. It is over. Quinton could not answer the bell. Mike Sharika retains his title. I'm going to go say hi. Phoenix Carnavale will hop up into the ring and talk to our Still, 189 pound Northeast Regional Amateur Full Rules Champion, Mike the Machine Tarico. As Dr. Rufus Sadler waves this one off after three rounds of battle, an incredible performance from both men, but Tarico, the hometown guy from Tuckahoe, New York and Westchester County, does a little bit more damage and Rousseau is not allowed to come out for round four. The Lion Slayer wanted to go, but the ringside physician thought better of it. Tremendous battle here on Friday Night Fights coming to you live for the very first time via Fights.Live and Facebook. Ariel Agami with you ringside at Lucky Strike Manhattan on the 12th Avenue side, the west side of New York City. Phoenix Carnavale, my broadcast partner in the ring and awaiting her chance to speak with the victor who has retained his title belt. Remember, still ahead, folks, our main event coming up, a, prof a professional glory rules affair between Elijah Clark and Brad the Machine Gun Mountain. With a spot potentially on the line at Glory 43 at Madison Square Garden. Let's go up to David Diamante with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Wagner calls a halt to this contest. Red corner unable to answer for the fourth round. Your winner by TKO and still the WKA Men's Amateur Northeastern Regional Full Rules Muay Thai Champion, Mike the Machine Chirico. Mike, congratulations. Now, we've seen you win by leg kicks before, so it's of no shock that you're able to, to do these devastating leg kicks. Were you surprised at all that he was unable to answer the bell? He's a tough kid. I mean, you know, 
he's got a great record, 12 and 0. The fight that I saw, you know, he won it from being tough, and uh, I expected no no less from him coming in. Uh, but if I knew we kept to the game plan, stick and move and drill that leg, it was going to be hard for him to keep coming forward. Congratulations on retaining the title. What happens next for you? Uh, you know, whoever my coach tells me to fight, that's who I go fight. I don't think about it too much. It makes it a little bit easier that way. Uh, I'm just going to keep training. I'll probably take, uh, take a little layoff in the summer, enjoy the summer, and then come back hard in the fall. You are live right now. Is there anything you want to say to your friends and your fans at home? Uh, thank you guys for the support. Uh, it means a lot, everybody that made it out here. We're going to party tonight. It's also my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. So thanks for coming out, and uh, I'll see you guys at the bar. Thank you so much, Mike. Again, congratulations.